Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ox Gallery. Uh, today I'm going to be working on my second piece where I'm going to be using hard to recycle plastics mixed in with epoxy resin. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. Please leave any comments or questions down below and stick till the end to see the final piece. Thank you. All right, so I've got about, uh, let's see, about 20 milliliters of uh, epoxy left over from a couple of pours. Uh, mix up a little too much, so I'm just going to throw in a little bit of this apricot pigment here. Alright, this piece is dry enough that we can give the surface uh, sanding uh, and get it ready for the next coat. We're just going to give it enough to scuff it up. Just going to dip this in a little bit of water just to get the surface damp. Alright, that should be good. I'm going to go rinse this off and dry it really well and uh, we'll let it make sure it's fully dry and all the moisture is gone before we start working on uh, the next coat. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, so we got this one sanded uh, and it's ready for the next coat. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of clear to uh, keep the interesting uh, red alcohol ink information here. The netting, I've got some of this uh, almost brownish color that I mixed up with some alcohol, ink. alcohol inks. I ended up using, I believe it was three drops of this uh, chili pepper red and ended up using uh, one drop of the rainforest green and then uh, let's see what I use for that. Uh, oh yeah, I think I used a drop of sapphire blue, which really took it uh, uh, more toward a uh, green spectrum. So then I ended up um, adding two more red, so a total of three of these total to bring it back. So I probably could have. So that a little different, um, but anyway, that's what I used a mixture of those in a previous project uh, to get this color that I'm also going to use in here. I'm going to pour a little bit down here on the netting this way to get a little bit of balance and uh, see if we can get some interesting looks.
All right, we will set that off to the side and cover it up, and uh, we will check on it for air bubbles every uh, 10 or 15 minutes or so about the next hour, and uh, then we'll let it set off and cure up, and then we'll get it ready for a final coat. All right, we're back to this piece, and uh, you can tell it's definitely dulled out from where we sanded it. It's uh, definitely make sure you give enough time to make sure any moisture dry. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to set it on top of uh, this silicone mold here. If you look, there is a bit of a wall edge around this piece. And when I sanded it, I made sure to kind of hit those edges and try to keep them all the same. And so uh, we'll put this here. We'll check the level real fast. All right, we are good and level that way. All right, we are level. All right, it looks like it is filling out to the edge really nicely. Now when I use a heat gun on it, sometimes it, it'll push it over the edge. Uh, if that's the case, then we'll just have to sand that down uh, before we uh, finish off the edge and frame it up on however we want to do that. And uh, But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. All right. I'm going to use it on the lower setting so that I don't push it too hard. Alright, we'll come back and check on that in about uh, 10 minutes. See if we need to treat it for air bubbles again and also check for any specks or dust. All right, this piece is ready to have the edges sanded down. I'm going to put uh, a border around this. This is going to also double as the mounting hardware for it. And uh, basically, this, if you can see that really good there. We got a nice finish on this piece and so what we're going to do now is we're going to wet sand this edge here just so that when we glue the border on it will adhere nice All right, so I'm going to use this uh, braided rope here. This is some, uh, it's either hemp or burlap. I'm not sure which. I just found a roll of it that I had around the house um, and braided it. And I'm going to use this to create a border and also to uh, create a little loop at the top so that that will be uh, how it can be mounted on the wall. So, all right, here we go. I've got these two little crimp rings. I'm going to open them up crimp them around this to create a loop that'll give just enough for a picture hanger, nail, hook, that kind of thing to be able to uh, hang this up.
All right, so I'm going to cover the face of this with some painter's tape just to protect it from uh, the glue when I go to put the border around it, just so I don't get any on my fingers, and then touch the face of this. Um, I've marked with a marker where I want the top to be. So we'll get uh, a little bit of glue, put a dab here, and mount the border just like that. And uh, we'll let it sit for a bit before we come back and, and work our way around. I'm going to do it slow and steady. Um, learned a long time ago, quit, you know, if I try to put this whole thing on one piece, I'm just going to get glue everywhere and make a mess out of it. So I'm going to start by getting it fastened here so that I have my center point uh, attached. And then we'll slowly work uh, the border around.
This piece is complete. I'm going to title this one A New Day. All right, so there you have it. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button. If you got any questions about it, please ask away in the comments section. And if you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. All right, y'all have a good one. Take care and be kind to one another.